Hi. Today I'm going to read a book that I downloaded from my local library using the Overdrive app. And the book title is The Seashore Book. My author is Charlotte Zolato. And my illustrator is Wendell Miner. The publisher is Charles Bridge Publishing. The Seashore Book. What is the seashore like? A little boy asked his mother. He lived in the mountains and had never seen the sea. His mother smiled. Let's pretend, she said. It is early morning at the seashore, and it's hard to tell where the sea stops and the sky begins. They are the same smoky gray until the mist shifts from gray to dark white, from dark white to pale purple, from pale purple to hazy blue, and then suddenly the sun breaks through. It warms the cool sand. It turns the sea green and the beach is golden gray. You run down to the water's edge, one small dark spot against the brightness of the sand and sea. You bend over and pick up a stone washed smooth by the sea. You find tiny brown snail shells and oyster shells crusty gray outside and smooth pearly pink inside. You pick up a clam shell half open and inside a live clam snaps the shell closed. In my hand? The little boy asked. In your hand, the mother said. Then down you reach again, and picking up a wet white feather from the gulls flying overhead. We sit at the edge of the water and build a castle of wet sand until the waves wash up and suck it back to sea. The cold water makes your skin feel like peppermint, and you are tired. You lie down in the hot noonday sun now, and it feels warm as a big soft cat covering you, taking away the chill of the waves. The swish washing sound of them lulls you to sleep. I watch you sleep and you don't see two little sandpipers run past you. But when you wake up, you do see their claw prints like pencil lines in the sand. You rub your eyes, and it seems there is nothing in the world except the sound of the wind and the rising and falling song of the waves. There's a view of the beach. You stand and look at the ocean, far, far out. So far it seems like a toy. A little white sailboat skims over the water and disappears. The tide is going out. I'm hungry, you say. I am too. So we wade over to a big rock covered with seaweed and moss. We sit there together 
and eat our sandwiches and drink lemonade from our thermos and watch the small brown sand crabs squaggling at our toes. An airplane flies low in the sky. Its shadow on the sand is like a gigantic bird and you leap off the rock and chase after it until it is gone. I watch you throw your head back and twirl yourself around and around until you are too dizzy to stand and you fall down in the sand. The wind is getting cooler. Long purple streaks of clouds are forming in the sky. We take each other's hands and walk down the beach toward home. The fishing pier we pass is white as a snowfall with hundreds of crying seagulls waiting for the fishing boats to come in when the sun sets. The evening air is so still that the buoys ding, ding, dong sounds as if it's right next to us, close and clear and loud. We climb to the top of the dune away from the ocean but we stop and look down across the seagrass to the sea. The setting sun is a huge orange ball. You are so tired when we get home that you can hardly stay awake through your hot bath and your dinner. We barely have time to kiss goodnight before you fall asleep. Outside, the lighthouse is flashing, golden gleam on, golden gleam gone. But you don't see it. You are sleeping so deeply. You don't hear the tide rising. You don't see the small crescent moon outside your window. The ocean is bursting in waves along the shore, covering the rock where we sat and ate our lunch, and carrying up seaweed and shells to the sand. The little boy leaned against his mother and smiled. I like the seashore a lot, he said, and now I can always close my eyes and be there the way I was just now, with you. And that was The Seashore Book by Charlotte Zolito. This is an AR book. It's AR Quiz 44430. The book level is 3.8 and it's worth half a point. So I hope you enjoyed the Seashore book and this little mental break to the sea.